Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're opening doors inside of our minds so that we can explore decision making and what does it actually mean investing in yourself. Let's start by decision making. That's one of the critical and well discussed topic in each and every aspect of life. Somehow there is a point in our life where we rely on our parents for deciding on what's good for us. And they relied on their parents when they were young on what's good and bad for them. Depending on the information that they were exposed to, because you can only give what you have. Somehow when we grow up, we are shaped by these decisions and when we grow up and see the world we are shaped by the beliefs and we make our decision based on what we see or think it's possible or what's not possible based on what we know or what we are told when we are asked we are a mixture of the decisions that our parents made for us and the decisions that when we grew up and now we can be able to make our own decisions. So these two things shaped us, but there are two aspects that we can somehow have control in our lives. It's either by the decisions that we make or either by reacting well to the things that we cannot be able to change. Somehow there is a line in decision-making that we will always go back to. That line is making a decision, obviously. So our lives is filled by good and bad decisions. When we do bad decisions, somehow it's either we can decide again, we're going back to that line that I talked about, we can decide again to decide to learn from the bad mistakes that we've made. So the minute we grow enough to make our own decision, somehow that's where we are in charge of our lives. That's a very critical stage because now we are the one that is preparing our life forward through the decisions that we make. If more of good decisions are being made, it gives us a chance to be ahead in life. If more of bad decisions are made, somehow it takes us back to the line of decision making. That line of decision making, it's all about learning from the mistake that we made. So investing in yourself is equipping yourself with the knowledge that will help you to decide. When you invest in yourself, you invest in yourself for yourself, for the people around you, for your children. Because you, you are going to raise your kids based on what you know or on what you had or on what you researched. Some of us, when we grow up, decisions relating to money, we are not told about it. We only either learn from when we get there, when we get our first jobs or when we are given money. Somehow, when we are not told, so there is a default kind of teaching that money is there for us to spend. Ever ask yourself why every time when you get money, the only thought that comes is what can i buy you don't think can i invest so that i can sort of like get more that's one of the questions that i ask myself why every time when i get money the only thing i'm thinking is to go and spend that's the point that changed my thinking when it comes to money as somehow i started investing to myself through information and what the true definition of money is according to me because it differs according to everyone so investing is all about making the right decision and reacting the right way how so we buy things that have the potential to increase in value over time so we trade time with what we buy if we buy things that decrease in value over time therefore those things over time they do not have value so it's all about the measure of 
what decreased in value over time and what increased in value over time. So am I making decisions that are putting me in a position of doing things that have the potential gain over time or am I making decisions that are putting me towards something that will decrease in value over time. So somehow we cannot run away and say that every decisions that we, we make put us ahead. Somehow we have to buy stuff that like at, over time really does not have value. But throughout this lecture, the one that increase in value over time must be more than the ones that decrease in value over time. Somehow slowly we are getting ahead. Somehow how can you do that? if you did not take time to invest in yourself through education because everybody in this world that we're living in on social media it's all about what they feed you in your mind and you decide one of the most neglected thing uh, in us is our mind we don't feed our mind we don't exercise our mind but we exercise our body every time now and then <laughs> those who exercise obviously Somehow take time and ask yourself, how can I educate myself? How can I exercise my mind, make the right decisions that are going to put me ahead of time? That's it for me for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell for more notification videos like this. And check out there's some of my videos up there.